is not a marshmallow stick. This is a shaft punch. This is a white tail antler deer tine. And it's getting a little focus and a little punky in the middle, but it's still working. I jam it in a corner, use it under the knee, and then hold it up, and it's got a little, just a nice little spring on the end. So let's, this is a preform of our Burlington. Let's just do a little. This has got some body on it, so it's a pretty, you can thin with this, but this is more of a finishing diameter punch. So we'll see how it works. Looks like I need to Is that good for you? Well, I'll see how this goes. How am I gonna strike this? Well I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we'll try. Start by doing just a little practice trimming. I'm gonna lower a little bit. I'm really having to swing close to my body. This is weird because my camera's in the way, but we'll just do a little and see how it comes out. It's, uh, This is a nice raw, oops, nice raw Burlington. Oh my gosh, a flute song from the 70s. God, I don't know if I can nap to this. I can handle Jim Croce. I don't know what this is, but hopefully you guys can't hear it. I don't want to get flagged anyway. I'm using the bottom of the punch here because it's a little harder on the antler. The middle is kind of soft, so as it wears, I'm going to have to sort of raise or lower and find my spot. Just nice little trimmers. 
just using the finger for support. With this, you don't want really heavy edges with the size punch. And if you're experienced using the Ishii, the copper Ishii punch, um, and you're not having any luck with the antler, it's, it's just because you're conditioned. Your edges and your grinding is conditioned. So... See how nice and smooth that is? Smoothing. See how I didn't trap that? Because that flick was going to be so wide. See what it did there? I just didn't use the, you know, I backed off on the support so that I wouldn't get a step. Maybe I'll just do a little trim in here. I would cut myself and so increase the support a little bit. Oops, I just hit my phone in the face. Man, I have that screen protector on, that's good. Anyhow, you guys getting bored, I'm getting bored. Maybe one, but it shows you the platforms. See, that's pretty heavy, but that will we'll go. I'm jammed in. And I've got a little spring, springy spring. You can put leather underneath here too, but it's got just a, just the right spring going on, and it's sticking up. And I'm just, I'm, I'm not swinging weird because I'm trying not to hit you guys. But. Anyhow, I suggest. Leg punches, tied under leg punches, tied over. You can sit on the ground or in a chair. Doing the little trimming is kind of fun. And it's effectively resharpening. So a lot of these bifaces where they're used as knives and preforms, you can just practice you don't have to make an idealized point type. You just make nice edges. And uh, it's tricky because we don't use a lot of our stone tools, so we haven't reinforced the subconscious positive attributes that lead to cross sections and edges that are beneficial for us using and resharpening. And so it takes years to develop habits to just be observant and try to do that rather than be forced on a necessity. So. Oh gosh, what am I doing? But you can. Especially when you just don't make point types. You make um, tools and you try to build certain kind of edges and stay consistent. So I need to get there. There. You swear, too, when you use a point and then you resharpen it off of the dull edge through you swear, it's, uh, it's really neat. Rather than just trying to grind something with a stone, it's, uh, on certain kinds of resharpening, it's, it makes it easier. Need a little finger support because I gotta. There. I need to put a little extra support on that because of the 
little hinge off that platform. What's nice with the antler is that if I did a continuous platform and had a copper punch, you can really thin and blast and aggressively put nice patterns on stuff. But then when you come to the nitty gritty and you're looking at your point when it's done, it, it, you know. I guess most people couldn't tell the difference, but if you can, it's super annoying. And it sounds like a stuck up thing to say, but I'm just the way it is. I gotta working up the edge on this side. It's um. I need to hit strong so I can't and turn this off or I'm going to hit my phone again.